right there. How are you, Rachel? Doing well. How are you? Yeah, you know, I see a little sun maybe peeking through your window. Is that possible? Maybe a little bit of sun. Uh, we're certainly trying to dig out over here in D.C. I'm telling you what, I'm so tired of snow. I'll be so happy when it's springtime. I'll bet. Okay, tell us, can, can a state senator, or tell us what's going on over there with Senator Kessler. Sure thing. Well, um, in West Virginia, uh, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman uh, Jeff Kessler has introduced a bill in the state Senate that would uh, prevent the uh, stings that Mayor Bloomberg has been doing all across the country from happening in West Virginia. Of course, we think this is a great bill because we think that what Mayor Bloomberg was doing coming into Virginia, Ohio, and other states uh, it was illegal. And what he was doing was uh, sending his own hired private investigators, not law enforcement, but private investigators to uh, set up uh, gun dealers for straw purchases. Uh, he also did this at gun shows, uh, enticing um, otherwise law-abiding people to make uh, sales, private sales to uh, folks. So basically what Mayor Bloomberg is doing is circumventing the process of the FBI, the ATF, and local law enforcement and doing it himself outside of his jurisdiction and that is illegal. And the uh, ATF, FBI, and uh, other local law enforcement officials have come out against what Mayor Bloomberg is doing. Now what uh, Senator Kessler is saying is if there is a problem and people are breaking the law and you think that there's something wrong with it, then let us know and work with us. But he needs to go through the correct uh, process to do this. He can't just hire his own private investigators to come into states and uh, entice people and entrap them into making uh, into doing something illegal when they otherwise maybe wouldn't. Um, so that's what Mayor Bloomberg is doing and Jeff Kessler is coming out against it and saying that this cannot happen in West Virginia. Now, when Bob McDonnell was Attorney General in Virginia, he also made a, a ruling that said that what Mayor Bloomberg was doing was, it was illegal and he uh, helped legislation get passed in Virginia to make these kind of sting operations illegal in Virginia as well. Okay, so, so if I understand this correctly then, Rachel, what they have done is, it's called the Bloomberg Bill or the Kessler Bill, I'm not sure which. I'm not sure what the name of the bill is, um, and actually I don't even have the number, but it is, it would, let me read the correct language, it would make it a felony offense to, for anyone to persuade, encourage, or entice someone to make an illegal sale. Okay, now we both know that Mayor Bloomberg has spent, and I've read this, millions of dollars, millions of dollars, which is a pretty shocking number uh, considering our economy, uh, but it probably doesn't affect the mayor that much, but anyway, spent millions of dollars on investigators going around the country. So what this bill will actually do is, if those investigators come into West Virginia to try to set up a sting operation at a gun show, then the state of West Virginia is now empowered and able to arrest those investigators and charge them with a felony? Yes. That's that is exactly how it would work. Okay. And, uh, sure. Yeah. Well, Mayor Bloomberg, you're right. He has millions and billions of dollars. He is a multi-billionaire. And, uh, you know, when you have, when you're working with someone who has that much money, yeah, he can go out and hire as many investigators as he wants. But um, he's New York City's mayor, and that's much outside his jurisdiction. And if he thinks that there is illegal activity going on, then he should work with ATF and the FBI and local law enforcement outfits, mm -hmm. not his own hired men. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, we, if someone's breaking the law, we think that the book should be thrown at them. But a lot of these folks aren't, and they were just uh, being entrapped by Mayor Bloomberg and his hired men. Uh, this is absolutely outrageous. The National Rifle Association has been out against uh, Mayor Bloomberg's efforts uh, ever since it started and uh, will continue to do so. This is something, you know, we shouldn't, you know, if, again, if there is someone breaking the law, then absolutely law enforcement should be informed and they should do something about it. But in all of these uh, events, uh, Mayor Bloomberg and his men went in. They didn't make any arrests. They, they only videotaped it and held on to the information without passing it along to law enforcement until they could hold press conferences and sensationalize themselves in front of the media. This is political grandstanding and this has nothing to do with reducing crime.
Yeah, well, you, you know, all I can do is, uh, I know from what I've read about the mayor that he's one of those people who would probably take on a challenge. Uh, it's <laughs> can, you, can you imagine him receiving this information in the mayor's office and saying, I can no longer go to West Virginia because if I do, and if I happen to be at a gun show, <laughs> I could be arrested, right? Well, you know, we certainly hope so, and I know that it's happened in Virginia, and he has not uh, come back to Virginia. Yeah. So uh, I think that it is a step in the right direction for West Virginia. Well, I think it's a step in the right direction for many states, and, and, and it's certainly going to, we're going to watch this a little bit, as I know the NRA is as well, and, and see what takes place here. I think it's going to be a suspension of all investigations from uh, the mayor's office on anything that takes place in West Virginia, and hopefully other states will look at that and go, hey, you know what? If they can do it, we can do it. I, I, I mean, I can tell you right now, if the mayor's watching, hey, mayor, don't go to Texas, okay? Do not go to Texas. There may not be a law <laughs> yet, but don't go to Texas. I, I don't think you're going to be very well accepted down there. Uh, you, know, you know, I find that to be a very interesting story. Now, just moving on really quickly, because I think I have a couple of more minutes with you. I know okay. there's a lot of bills going on in Virginia. I mean, I looked at a, at a list of bills that deal with Second Amendment rights, and I think that's the longest list of bills I have ever seen in front of a state at one time. Our lobbyists in Virginia are very busy very. right now. Um, just yesterday, more than two dozen uh, gun bills passed either the Senate or the House. So they'll be uh, going, going to the crossover chamber to uh, go through the process uh, there. This is great news. Um, we've got things like repealing the one gun a month uh, legislation in Virginia. We've got um, some other things like restaurant carry. Uh, and a lot of the a lot of the bills uh, address uh, concealed carry permit holders and the process in which to get those permits. So I'm telling you, they're so busy in Virginia right now. Um, that's great news, and it shows uh, how important the Second Amendment is and the political climate. You know, we also see these bills running through in Indiana. We have a a parking lot bill in Indiana, a concealed carry uh, privatization. Uh, bill in Indiana. So all across the country, NRA uh, staff is working to make sure that Second Amendment freedoms are protected and enhanced in the states uh, all across the country. So this is something that we're really excited about. We'll continue to update you on this kind of stuff, but it's just good news when you see such great things happening in states across the country. Down that list of bills, and if you go to the NRA ILA, uh, it's all listed there. Uh, as I read down that list, I know that those are reflective of other bills in other states. And this may be one of those situations, Rachel, and you, you might agree with me on this, where things are going to start on the East Coast and maybe spread West. Uh, an We're exception. certainly looking forward to that happening. <laughs> <laughs> an exception to the rule, actually. And, you know, I, I was pretty impressed. I mean, there's a lot going on in West Virginia, and, uh, or in Virginia, I should say. And, um, you know, you guys are really on top of it over there, and I certainly hope that spreads throughout the rest of the country. I know there's going to be a lot of people watching, and I know from week to week you'll update us on what's taking place. Absolutely. Thanks, Rachel. Hey, thank you very much. See you again next week. See ya. Bye-bye.